With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, first part, which term of the progression 10, 9, 1 by 3, 8, 2 by 3 is the first negative term? So in this question, we have given the series 10, 9, 1 by 3, 8, 2 by 3 and so on. Now in this progression, the, the terms are in mixed fraction. So in simple fraction, this will be 10, comma, 3 into 9 plus 1 that is 28 upon 3 comma 3 into 8 plus 2 which is 26 upon 3 and so on. Now as the difference between two consecutive terms is same so we can say that this belongs to an arithmetic progression so the first term is 10 and the common difference d will be equal to 28 minus 3 minus 10 which will be 28 minus 30 upon 3. On solving this, we get d is equals to minus 2 by 3. So d is equals to minus 2 by 3, a is equals to 10. Now we can find the general term. So the general term will be a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 d, which will be 10 plus n minus 1 into minus 2 by 3. Or this will be 10 plus sorry 10 minus 2 by 3 plus 2 by 3 this will be minus 2 by 3 n plus 2 by 3 now on solving this we get 30 plus 2 minus 2 n upon 3 or the general term will be equal to 32 minus 2 n upon 3 so this is the general term now we have to find the first negative term so we will put the general term less than 0 and then find the value of n so 32 minus 2n upon 3 less than 0 this 3 will be get transferred here so this will be 0 so 32 minus 2n less than 0 or this will be on simplifying this we get 32 less than 2n or 2n is greater than 32 from this we get n should be greater than 16 now for for n greater than 16 that is 17 18 19 and all all of these terms will be negative so terms so the first negative term so the first negative term will be the 17th term terms after 16 will all be negative and the first term which is negative is 17th. Now the second part says which term of the progression 4 comma 3 5 by 7 comma 3 3 by 7 and so on is the first negative term. Now in this B part we have given the series as 4 3 5 by 7 3 3 by 7 now again this is in mixed fraction so in simple fraction this will be 4 comma 26 by 7 comma 24 by 7 and so on now again the difference between two consecutive terms is constant so we can say that this belongs to an arithmetic progression with first term 4 the common difference of this will be 26 upon 7 minus 4 which will be 26 minus 28 upon 7 from this we get d is equals to minus 2 by 7. Now the general term can be find out by the formula a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 d. So on putting value of a and d in this we get 4 plus n minus 1 into minus 2 by 7 or this will be 4 plus minus of 2 n minus 7 plus 2 by 7. On solving this we get the nth term as 28 minus 2n plus 2 upon 7 or the nth term is equals to 30 minus 2n upon 7. Now we have to find the first negative term. So we will put this general term less than 0. So this will be 30 minus 2n upon 7 less than 0 or 30 minus 2n less than 0. 
but this will be 30 less than 2n and this can be written as 2n greater than 30 now this 2 get transferred here so we get n greater than 30 by 2 that is 15 so terms greater than 15 sorry the terms after 15th term all the terms will be the negative term so the first negative term will be the 16th term will be the first negative term so these are the answer of this question thanks for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today